In the year 2001, in the districts of Kottayam and Iduki in the southern Indian state Kerala, experienced something truly extraordinary. For weeks, the rain that fell from the skies was not clear. It was not the pure water that nourishes the green landscapes of this tropical region. It was red in color. And it was red like blood. Droplets that stained clothes, rooftops and the very earth beneath people's feet. According to locals, the first colored rain was preceded by a loud thunderclap and flash of light. It seemed like a strange weather event. But soon the phenomenon became a mystery that puzzled not just the people of Kerala, but scientists across the globe. When the first reports came in, many thought it was nothing more than dust or mud mixed with heavy monsoon rain. The report also stated that there was no meteoric, volcanic or desert dust origin present in the rainwater and that its color was not due to any dissolved gases or pollutants. Some feared it was the result of pollution or even a sign of something ominous. But tests revealed this was no ordinary dirt. Under the microscope, the particles in the rain looked like tiny red cells. They were not grains of sand, nor any kind of known mineral. In fact, they resembled biological cells, but with a strange twist, they had no DNA. Scientists were baffled. If these cells were alive, where did they come from? And if they were not alive, how did they end up in the clouds? and fall with the rain. Some researchers suggested that the red rain was caused by airborne spores of a type of algae called Trentipolia. These algae, which is naturally red in color and can be carried by the wind. When the monsoon clouds formed, the spores mixed with rainwater and fell to the ground. In February 2015, a team of scientists from India and Austria also supported the identification of the algal spores as Trentipolia annulata. However, they speculate that the spores were carried by winds from Europe to the Indian subcontinent. But not everyone was convinced. A controversial theory emerged, one that sounded like it belonged in science fiction. Two Indian scientists, Godfrey Louis and A. Santosh Kumar, proposed that the red cells might have come from space, perhaps from a passing comet or meteor that exploded in the atmosphere, scattering microscopic life forms into the clouds above Kerala. If it is true, it would mean that life itself could have an extraterrestrial origin, a concept known as panspermia theory. A theory proposing that the life exists throughout the universe and it is distributed by natural means like space dust, meteoroids, asteroids, comets. It suggests that life on Earth may have originated elsewhere and been transported here. However, the panspermia theory remains highly debated. No conclusive evidence has ever proven it. And so, the mystery of the red rain remains unsolved. Was it merely an unusual bloom of algae carried high into the skies? Or was it a gift? Or perhaps a message? From beyond our planet? One thing is certain. The red rain of Kerala will forever remain one of the strangest and most beautiful meteorological mysteries of our time.